What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are gonna go over 10 mountain bike hacks that anybody can do to make your mountain bike life just a little bit easier. You know when your son or daughter gets a flat tire and you have to replace their tube, but you only have 29 er tubes available? Well, with this hack, that won't be a problem. Now, I've been thinking, how exactly am I gonna explain this hack to you guys? But the best that I can come up with is, basically, you take your thumb and you jam the tube inside the tube <laughs> until you get your desired size. This might seem like a silly hack to start the video off with, but trust me, if you guys are ever in this situation, it definitely will help you guys out. And I'm just quite surprised how well this worked out while I was busy filming the video. But anyways, that's enough of that. Since I've got the tube in my hand, this leads me to hack number two, the chain stay protector. So what you guys are gonna wanna do is, you're going to want to cut right through the tube, as you guys can see. And then you guys are going to want to cut a long slit right through the tube. And then once the tube is like a long rubber sheet, you guys are going to just cut a thin piece out of that, which we are going to use. And this is going to serve as the chain stay protector. Now you are going to wrap what's left of the tube around the chain stay. Be sure to make a little overlap in the beginning. And make sure to wrap it nice and tight. All right, so once you've reached the end of your chain stay, you can just once again make a little overlap to make sure the tube stays secured on the chain stay. And then you guys can go ahead and cut off the excess rubber. And now for the final touch, just take some insulation tape and wrap it around the beginning and the end of your chain stay protector, AKA the tube. This is to make sure that the overlaps in the beginning and the end don't come loose and also it just gives it a nice finished look. This is for sure one of my favorite hacks as it's just so easy to do and so convenient and it works so, so well. In my opinion, it works even better than some professionally made chain stay protectors. Let me know if you agree with me in the comment section below. The next hack could be considered as a bit of a silly one, but I personally do use this hack and it does work, so I can recommend it. Some people just don't like using saddlebags, and personally, I am also one of those people. And it's also not the greatest to keep things in your pockets while riding, especially on trails where things shake around. Now what you could do is, you could put your tools inside an old bottle that you don't really use anymore, and simply just put it inside your bottle cage, and that is your toolbox. And yes, it does rattle here and there, but still works pretty well. And if you're worried about your tools falling out the top, just simply add the lid and you're good to go. Now the next hack, in my opinion, can be very useful in the right situations. How many times has it happened to you when you were out on the trails and you really, really just want to cut off that excess piece of cable tie, but nobody around you has a pair of side cutters? Well, this hack is perfect for that. I'm going to show you how to use a multi-tool to remove that excess piece of cable tie. And plus, everybody should have a multi-tool on them, right? I mean, it is a trail ride. So how this works is, you are going to want to take your multi-tool and wedge the excess part of your cable tie in between two different Allen keys. And then you are just going to start twisting and twisting and twisting. Now this can take a little bit of time and effort. I'm talking maybe three minutes, but eventually, the excess part of your cable tie will just snap off and then you are good to go. Usually when you cut off the excess part of your cable tie with a pair of side cutters, it leaves you with quite a sharp edge that you can definitely cut yourself with if not careful. But with this hack, it leaves you with a smooth edge, which is just pretty much a bonus. The next hack could be quite a useful one for you, especially if you're one of those guys who fall quite often. Most people tighten the components on their bike way too tight. Now usually this shouldn't be a problem unless it's a carbon part, but also this could be a problem with your brake levers and your gears on your handlebars. Now if you do happen to fall and your brake lever smashes into a rock and your brake lever is over tightened on the handlebars, then your brake lever will most probably break. But if it's not as tight on the handlebars and it smashes into a rock, it's going to move before it breaks. Everyone has been stuck and stranded on the trails before with chain problems. Now I think one of the most common chain problems is not being able to get your quick link loose. But with this hack, that is not a problem. All you will need to get that quick link loose 
is a shoelace or any kind of string or even a piece of wire perhaps that you may pick up on the side of the trail. All you have to do is wrap whatever you found around the quick link and pull and eventually it will come loose. And then when you want to put your quick link back together, all you have to do is connect the two sides and then pull on the chain on either side of the quick link and this should snap the quick link back into place. The next hack is going to be for all the riders out there who don't have an elastic on their fork. So if you want to check your sag and you don't have an elastic band, all you are going to need is a cable tie. And yes, you guessed it, all we're going to do is wrap the cable tie around the stanchion. But just remember to thread the cable tie the wrong way so that when you are done checking your sag, you can just pull the cable tie right off. And also, please just excuse my very dirty hands from the previous hack, but luckily I also have a trick for that. I've got this amazing hand wash product from Liqui Molly that just melts the grease right off your hands. All you have to do is take some with your fingers and wash your hands with water, and you will see how the magic happens. I can definitely recommend this product. If you guys would like to purchase a tub, I do have this product linked down in my description. So go check it out if you are interested. Another really cool hack is how to quickly and easily center your disc brakes because there's nothing more annoying than rubbing disc brakes. So what you are going to do is, you are going to loosen the two bolts on your brake caliber until your brake caliber is nice and loose, as you guys can see in the video. And then you are going to spin the wheel and immediately after you are going to lock up the wheel, but you are going to keep your finger on the brake lever. While your finger is on the brake lever and the wheel is locked, you are going to slowly tighten the brake caliber evenly on each side until the brake caliber is completely fastened. Then you are going to spin the wheel one more time, lock up the wheel one more time, release your finger from the brake lever, and then your brakes should be perfectly centered. But sometimes this doesn't work first try, so if it didn't work for you, just give it a second try, or maybe a third, and it'll definitely work. If you want to test that your brakes are perfectly centered, give your wheel a slight push forward, and when it comes to a stop, if it starts to spin slightly back, then you know that there's absolutely no resistance. For the next hack, did you guys know that you can remove grips from your handlebars by simply just using a little bit of water? I know, it's pretty cool, right? But then, once your grip is off, how do you get it back on? Because usually people struggle with this for a solid 20 minutes. Well, I have got a hack for you. Once again, we are going to be using cable ties. So you are going to want to put some cable ties, maybe four or five, inside the grip. I know, it sounds weird. Then you are going to put the grip on the handlebar and spread the cable ties around evenly. This will offer much less resistance when trying to slide the grip onto the bar. Trust me, you guys will see. And then once the grip is on the bar exactly where you want it, you simply just pull the cable ties out one by one, and there you have it. Did you know that you can use a toilet brush to clean your bike? Well, it actually works pretty damn well. The toilet brush can get into all the awkward spots that a normal brush can't. It's perfect for cleaning your gears, your rear derailleur, your front chainring, your hubs, and pretty much anything else, just maybe not the frame. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you maybe enjoyed it or even possibly learned something, then please be sure to share it with a friend. Also, a like and a subscribe wouldn't hurt. Maybe even pop a comment down below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.